Hello everyone and welcome to Fun to Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Riviera Resort. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun to Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney's Riviera Resort where a touch of European elegance meets Disney magic. Disney's Riviera Resort is a Disney Vacation Club resort at the Walt Disney World Resort located in the Epcot Resort area. It is situated between Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios and guests can take flight on the Disney Skyliner aboard gondolas which land at the entrance to the theme parks. The resort is themed after Walt Disney's trips and experiences in Europe and also for his passion of the French and Italian Riviera. A collection of his personal travel photos are incorporated into the resort's decor. Popular Disney characters are also depicted in the overall theme of the resort. Disney's Riviera Resort offers guests multiple room styles ranging from tower or deluxe studios to one, two, or three bedroom villas. Disney's Riviera Resort has a full-size pool, a leisure pool, and a shallow interactive splash area for junior explorers. And here's the Disney Magical Express bus stop. Here's the portico with its large vaulted ceiling and oversized chandelier. But let's proceed straight ahead. Here's the Riviera Resort logo in the pavement. Over to the left hand side is a covered walkway that takes us down to the Walt Disney World bus transportation. Let's go have a look at that before we head into the lobby. And we're going to make a left here under this covered walkway and head down the ramp. Here's the base of the ramp and if we look just over to the right hand side, here's the bus stop. Disney's Riviera Resort offers bus service to the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and the water parks. Up ahead is the main entrance to the lobby. Here's a nice fountain on the left side of the main entrance. And also on the right hand side of the main entrance. Welcome home. Let's go through the double doors here at Disney's Riviera Resort. And we'll go through the second set of double doors. We've arrived at the lobby here at Disney's Riviera Resort. Here's this nice staircase, but remember that for later. And if you look outside, you can see the activity lawn and Barefoot Bay. We'll go check that out in a moment. And here's the front desk for check-in here at Disney's Riviera Resort. Your family and friends could relax here in the nice sitting area while you check in. Just on the other side of the front desk is the La Boutique gift shop. Let's go in and check it out. And we're immediately greeted with this resort specific merchandise. Let's look over to the left hand side and check out this nice shirt. Let's see how much it is. It's $34.99. La Boutique gift shop here at Disney's Riviera Resort offers many items that are specific to this resort. Here's another look at some specialty merchandise. Let's see how much this t-shirt is. And it's $34.99. Here's even more resort specific merchandise. And here's some artwork that you could print on demand. And here's another look of some more artwork you could print on demand. There's the La Boutique gift shop. But if we look just over to our right hand side, here's the Le Petit Café. In the main lobby is the Le Petit Café, named after the Disney film The Aristocats. And this location offers a coffee menu during the day, and it also becomes a small plate and drink lounge after hours. Let's take a look at the menu items here at Le Petit Café. The Le Petit Café offers coffee, like French roast, and also specialty coffees, like double espresso and espresso Viennese. 
through these doors here is a balcony where you can enjoy views of the activity lawn and Barefoot Bay. Here's the Le Petit Cafe again. If we swing over to our right hand side, let's go check out the Voyager's Lounge. And here's the Voyager's Lounge. Let's go inside and take a quick look. In the hallway, just across the way from Voyager's Lounge, are some photos. And here's various photographs of Walt Disney vacationing in Europe. There's even more photos hanging on the wall of Walt Disney and his family vacationing in Europe. Now let's go check out Topolino's Terrace, Flavors of the Riviera, located on the 10th floor. Also in this hallway is some nice artwork. And up ahead is an oil painting of a castle. Here we are at the east elevators on the lobby level. Now let's push the button for the 10th floor and head up to Topolino's Terrace, Flavors of the Riviera. Topolino's Terrace is at the rooftop table service dining experience located within the resort. Breakfast and dinner are served at this location. Topolino's Terrace, Flavors of the Riviera offers seafood and meats like diver scallops, the tomahawk veal chop, and the filet mignon. Let's hit the button for the ninth floor. Here's the elevators on the ninth floor. And if you'd look just over to your left hand side, here's some elegant chairs for you to relax in. We're now in the west wing. If you look through the window, you can see the parking lot below. Now let's go take a look at the interior guest room hallways here on the ninth floor. Hanging on the wall in the hallway are some exquisite paintings. And there's more on the opposite side of the hallway. Here's a look at the door entry and room number plaque here on the ninth floor. Here's the east wing elevators and over to the right hand side there's a window. Down below is the Beau Salil pool but we'll go check that out in a moment. Now that we've seen the interior guest room hallways here on the ninth floor let's go back down to ground level and check out Primo Piatto. We just came off the elevator there. We're going to go through this hallway here all over the east and west wing here at Disney's Riviera Resort are nice paintings. On the left hand side of the hallway are restrooms, but straight up ahead is Primo Piatto. Let's go take a look at that. And here's Primo Piatto, a quick service dining experience here at Disney's Riviera Resort. And let's take a quick look at the menu items here at Primo Piatto. Primo Piatto offers hearth baked pizzas like a sausage and pepperoni, and a margarita. They also offer some hot sandwiches, like a bacon cheddar burger, a grilled chicken sandwich, and also cold sandwiches, like a spicy Italian sandwich. Here's the mobile pickup area, and just behind it, the kitchen. Here's the refillable drink mug and soda station. Here's a quick look at the dining room. There's also a microwave, so you can warm up your own foods. On the wall is various framed artwork of Walt Disney's travels to Europe and the French Riviera. Now let's go out the exit doors here. Disney's Riviera Resort is situated on Barefoot Bay. Nearby is the Disney Skyliner. It contains the West Wing, East Wing, Riviera Pool, and Beau Soleil Pool or the leisure pool. Now let's go see the Riviera pool. Disney's Riviera Resort offers recreation activities like Movie Under the Stars and the Fitness Center. Please use Magic Band or Card to enter. And here's the entrance to the Riviera pool. And here's the Riviera pool here at Disney's Riviera Resort. Here's the zero entry at the Riviera pool. And here's the water slide at Disney's Riviera Resort. There's even a spa for the grown-up explorers. Here's the Riviera pool with Primo Piatto in the background. Here's a relaxing cabana and just in the background is Barefoot Bay. 
Here's another look at the Riviera Pool. Here's the aquatic play area for the junior explorers. Let's go out the exit door here. And let's take a look at Bar Riva. Over on the left hand side is Primo Piatto. But if we look just over to the right hand side, here's Bar Riva. Bar Riva is an open air pool bar that offers a collection of small plates along with its selection of beer, wine, and cocktails. And here's a look at Bar Riva, located just outside the Riviera Pool. Let's take a look at the menu items. Bar Riva offers cocktails like the La Petite Fleur, the Il Tramado, and the Riviera Spiked Iced Tea. Now let's head over to the beach area on Barefoot Bay. We're now on a walkway that also doubles as a jogging trail that could go all the way around Barefoot Bay. Up ahead are the white sand beaches here at Disney's Riviera Resort. There's Barefoot Bay and just off in the distance is Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Here's the movie lawn where they have movie under the stars. Just beyond the fence is the Riviera Pool and beyond that is Primo Piatto and Bar Riva. Here's a fire pit, there's Barefoot Bay, and off in the distance is Disney Skyliner. Let's go check that out. If we were to follow this walkway, it'll take us all the way back to the lobby at Disney's Riviera Resort. Here's some nice patio furniture where you can enjoy a meal with views of Barefoot Bay. Here's the activity lawn with the lobby in the background, but we'll come back to that in a moment. And if we continue looking up towards the sky, you can see Topolino Terrace on the top floor. And here's a quick look at the running trail here at Disney's Riviera Resort. Just behind me is the Disney Skyliner and up ahead is Disney's Riviera Resort. Hop aboard and take flight on the Disney Skyliner. Here we are at the Disney Skyliner with transportation to Epcot with transfers to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, Disney's Art of Animation Resort, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Hollywood Studios. Here's a quick look at the opposite side of the Disney Skyliner Station. Now let's head back to Disney's Riviera Resort and look at the breezeway. Let's take this covered walkway over to the breezeway. Disney's Riviera Resort. Here's this nice fountain with a pedestrian bridge just overhead. There's also this Peter Pan tile mural. On the other side is Big Ben. You could even fly in the breezeway. Below is the fountain and up ahead is the Disney Skyliner. Here's a tile mural depicting Tangled. There's even the floating lanterns on the ceiling of the tile mural. And on the opposite side, that must be Rapunzel's hair hanging out the tower. And here's a look at the fountain from the pedestrian bridge. Just behind me is the breezeway with the fountains. But we're going to continue straight ahead and go over to the Beau Soleil pool right over there. Here's the Beau Soleil pool. And if you look just up ahead on the 10th floor is Topolino's Terrace, Flavors of the Riviera. And here's the entrance to the Beau Salil pool. Let's take a quick look at the Beau Salil pool or the leisure pool. The Beau Salil pool is over to the right hand side. We're going to follow this covered walkway here down to the activity lawn. Before we see the activity lawn, here's the Athletic Fitness Center. And here's a quick look at some of the fitness equipment just through the window. And here's the activity lawn where you could play cornhole just up ahead. You could even play a game of bocce ball or even relax on a swinging bench. You could even play a game of chess here at the activity lawn. Through these tall windows is the main lobby level here at Disney's Riviera Resort. Just overhead is a balcony so you can enjoy the views of Barefoot Bay. But just down below, there's a little set of double doors that we're gonna go through and go back into the lobby. We're going to go through these double doors here. Up ahead is the resort airline check-in and over to the left hand side is the set of steps we saw earlier. We're going to go back up to the main lobby level and we're just coming to the top of the steps now and we're going to head through these double doors 
back outside. And we're going to go through these double doors here, followed by the second set of double doors. And now we're back outside. We're going to make a left here. We're back. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Riviera Resort just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.